How to make a freestanding dartboard stand. You're going to need two 8x4 MDF boards, 18mm thick. You need four lengths of 2x1 inch timber, six foot lengths. I'll explain what they're for in a moment. And then an eight foot x four meter cord carpet in any colour you wish, but I've gone for black. So let's get cracking. So the first thing we're going to do is split our first 8 before 18 mil in half. Obviously, make sure you've got some nice comfy knee pads. Once you've split your two boards, that's now the side ends of your stand. So move that carpet out of the way. Then we're just going to speed things up, give yourself plenty of room to work with. Heavy duty hinges, you're going to need three for each side, so that's six in total. Tape measure time. So what you're going to do is simply measure the length of the board, check the measurement, in this case 96. Now we're going to evenly space our three hinges all at the correct measurement, so the bottom one is going to be at 16 marking that up to the center hole on our hinge then moving along to the next one and this one's going to have a gap of 32 so the measurement for this is 48 so there'll be 32 either side and then up on the last hinge we're going 16 from the top 80 always remember to double check your measurements which is 96 less 16 which takes you to 80 which is the center of your hinge that's your first hole or pilot hole and obviously we've got 80 to 48 which is exactly 32 in between the two hinges and the same again 32 and then your 16 in the center of that hole there so then that basically gives you, if we can stand back, perfect distance for all your hinges. There we go, beautiful. So we're just going to speed this bit up, pilot hole into all our pencil marks we've just marked, then we're ready for drilling. What I do is start with the top of the hinge, just make sure it's nice and level to both pieces of material that you're looking to fix it to. Then make sure the bottom is nice and square before putting in the rest of your screws. This way your stand won't be uneven and wobbly. Simply finish off popping all your screws in and then your stand is ready to be stood up. And now for a really strong, durable hockey. So here's the uh, two big ones we just had. Line them all up like so. And this last piece is to finish off. And then what we're going to do is that piece is going to be where the board is. That's the bit that will take most of the damage with the last feet being the heavy walk area. And simply flip it up. So just flip it upside down and spin it. And then you've got a perfect dart socket that's all only missing some carpet and we'll get on to that on another day so we had to actually get this ready for saturday night starts like and follow for more flooring videos and do enjoy the darts One hundred and forty.